Hey, good people. Welcome back to Beauty in the Frizz. My name is Kara. Whether you're new or returning, thank you so much for stopping by and hanging out with me for another one today. So excited about this one. This was a long time coming. One of my friends on here asked me to share my Dior collection, especially because Dior is now in Ulta and some people prefer shopping at Ulta versus Sephora or versus the Dior website or Macy's and all that good stuff. So if you wanna see everything I have and all things Dior, keep watching this video and let me know what you think. And if makeup is your therapy and your love, if it makes you happy and you wanna hang out with someone that feels the same way, definitely consider joining the community. I'd love to have you back. All right, let's get started. So when I was pulling all my stuff together, I realized I'm like, I'm a little Dior ho. Like, where did this come from? I will tell you where it started. It started in 2020 when I was trying to keep up with the Joneses, okay? When I was trying to be buying Quince, thinking I was competing with big time YouTubers doing this luxury beauty. That is not me. I really, really, really do like Dior, but I think there are just, it's not the eyeshadow, you know, and eyeshadow is mostly what I talk about, but there are other things that I really do like. And some of those things are Dior products, especially the lippies. You might know I love the lippies and the cases. So let's get started with what I have. Let me tell you what I don't have, cause that, that might be important, what I don't have. I don't have the foundation. I would like to try it because they have a glowy one and, and I really would like to try that. I don't have the rosy blush. Might get that for the Sephora sale because people are always talking about the Dior rosy blush. I don't have the Dior powder, no powder. Don't have that. Oh, I don't have any of the backstage stuff. None of the backstage stuff. I know some people really like the little highlighter. I don't have any of that. So I'm sorry if you were wondering about that because I don't have that. Don't show what I do have. I have all of this. So we. All right, y'all, lost my train of thought. Just got off the phone with my mom. We are gonna go ahead and get to this because my time, y'all know how it is when it gets late, it gets limited, so. I think I was telling y'all all the stuff I don't have <laughs> by Dior, so let's just focus on what I do have. We're gonna start with base products. So this is the Dior Forever Glow Veil. And this is a recent release. They have a matte version as well. It is a 24 hour hydrating radiant primer, concentrated in skincare, whatever that means. So let me just show you what it looks like. There it is. I wanna say this is like $50. It is a pricey one. It does give you a beautiful glowy base as you can see. If you are familiar with the Natasha Denona Hygiene Primer, I think that's my favorite one. This one is not as glowy, but it's it's glowy enough for me. If you want something that's like reasonably glowy and not super glowy, these descriptions might not be the best, but I think you would like the Dior Forever Glow Veil. I'm trying to think, I pretty much use this one most times. And I might mix it with my uh, Tatcha sunscreen with niacinamide because I do like to put my sunscreen on too and that one's a primer as well. So sometimes I combine them, but I do like the Glow Veil. I'm not sure if this is gonna be a repurchase right away like I feel the Natasha Denona Hygiene is only because I like trying out different primers. Speaking of primers, just a FYI, I bought those Glow Recipe strawberry drops and I bought them because it said Glow Recipe but didn't read that it's a mattifying primer and I just think it makes me look too mad. Like I like to be like light sweat, you know what I'm saying? So I think those may go back. But I think if you really want a matte primer that that's a good one. But I feel like it made me too mad. I don't know, I didn't, I didn't like that. So the Glow Veil is what I love. And I also have the reformulated Forever Skin Correct Concealer. This is my Holy Grail Concealer. I, I brought out my Huda Beauty Concealer today, which I'll talk about in the roundup. I think the shade is too light, but mm, it just wasn't doing it for me like this. And I'm not the foundation concealer expert where it's easy for me to explain. 
but I just really love the tone of this concealer. It matches my skin tone perfectly. I like a brighter under eye, but I usually get that brightness from something else. Like right now I'm using the Ole Henriksen vitamin C stick. I just started trying that. I do have a NARS color correct. Both of those products are very new. That's really recent. I wasn't really doing any type of color correct or anything like that before, but I really like this because there are times where I, well, lots of times that I don't wear foundation at all. And so when I use this one, and this is in the shade 4N, this matches my skin tone perfectly and I can use it all over my face as well as under my eyes, blend it out with a sponge and you don't need any foundation. I don't think it looks out of place or anything like that. This reformulated one, I have used the original one, which I liked. This one to me feels lighter. It has a skincare type smell, whereas the older one did not. It feels really, really smooth. And I like that. It's light and it's smooth. And this is just my number one concealer. It is my favorite one. I wanna try some other concealers to try to, you know, see if I can see what's different and what's not, but I'm just gonna stick with the ones I have right now. And I can say out of everything I have, uh, this one is really the best. I like LYS too though, but I love this one. It's so smooth. And it lasts, it lasts. Okay, now that's it for complexion. I do have two mascaras. I have the Dior Show. So this one is Dior Show Pump and Volume. And this one is Dior Show Iconic Over Curl. I think both of these are absolutely overpriced. Now, what I do like about the Dior Show Pump and Volume that I like that you can squeeze the product to make sure that you use it all. I think that's great, but do I think this is a standout mascara? I do not. I'm actually testing out the Maybelline uh, Falsies, a uh, surreal mascara. And I don't think that this is worth like the $29.50 or however much it costs. Now I'm assuming that the Iconic Over Curl Mascara is supposed to give some curl to your lashes. The only reason why I bought this is for the color and this is shade 664 and I think it's Brick. I think that's the name, might've made that up. But I, I do like this color, but again, I do think we can, no, not think. We can find cheaper mascaras. I know ColourPop has some colorful mascaras and some other brands as well. So I would say that that's probably not gonna be a repurchase unless I really figure out what's different. But as of right now, I'm not really seeing that price tag being worth it. Okay, we're gonna go to nail polish. So I have three nail polishes from Dior. This one is from the 2020 collection and this one is called uh, 997 Dark Nights. And this is just a very deep plum. Again, with these luxury polishes, I don't think there is any uh, added quality with the polishes. It's more of the experience and the luxury packaging. Like I said, this was the 2020 uh, shade. There were a couple other shades with this. So uh, it still uh, works well. And I just started painting my nails. They look a mess right now. So maybe that's something I'll pull back out. I also have two other polishes. The two other polishes that I have are from the Birds of a Feather collection. I actually found them on Macari and probably paid more for them than I should have. Uh, this is Nightbird. It is uh, 814. This was a limited edition. These are probably, aside from the Cleonas, the only like metallic uh, nail polishes that I have. And I just had to have them. I had to have them. Mm. Had to do that. So I am going to uh, try to get these on my nails. That was a night bird, early bird is 812. And again, <laughs> you don't need to pay $30 or however much uh, these polishes were because you see like Cleona has like really nice dual chromatic polishes and there's so many other brands. I mean, you don't even have to go the Cleona route because of the shipping, you know? So I don't think the nail polishes are worth it. I feel the same way about the Chanel polishes as well. You know, it's cool to have a couple, but 
I'm going ahead with my Essie. I'm wearing Essie. That's what I'm doing. I'm leaving lips for last because <laughs> lips are my thing with Dior. And I'm not wearing any Dior today, unfortunately, for this video, just the concealer. Let's do the eyeshadow. Let's start with this one. What is this? Denim. This is number 279. These quints were just like the bee's knees in 2020. Now this is one I have not used yet that is still a uh, part of my declutter, but I haven't gotten rid of it yet. Um, I am still trying to work with blues. I don't know. I don't know if this is a blue for me, but denim is one that many people love. The Dior eyeshadow formula is very easy to use. It's very easy to blend, but I will give the disclaimer that if you are an indie eyeshadow lover, I don't think you're gonna be very impressed. I don't think you're gonna be really hype about using Dior eyeshadow. I think you're gonna feel like there's a time and place and most of the time it's not gonna be that time or place. And that's how I feel. I had more Dior quints than what I'm gonna be showing. I had to let some of them go because it was just over overkill. This one is number 659, or is it 659, Early Bird. A lot of people hated this one because of this little mustardy shade that looks a hot mess. I mean, I don't know, it's a different texture, I don't know. Um, they do have, some of the shades have like beautiful sparkle here. But it's, again, if you are into indie, these shadows are probably not going to frost your cookies because you're used to Cleona, you're used to Sydney Grace, you're used to Terra Moons. I don't really know if these hold a candle to that, but I will say there is a level of ease to using them and simplicity, you know, by being a quint. And in some of the quints, they do have suggestions. So this is Golden Knights, which I need to find. So that's how they're designed to use. And you can actually go like up and down as well uh, to create looks. So that kind of makes it easy. Like if you're just trying to do something real quick and you're not trying to think about it. I have 549 Golden Snow. Uh, this one and Black Knights, which I'm decluttering, these were my first two Dior quints and Yachty had a friend or she had met someone that worked at Dillard's and they're like, I have the Dior holiday and we were all trying to get our videos up and all this kind of foolery. So, you know, I'm keeping this one. I do like, I do like it. Would I pull out Sydney Gray's first though? Yes, the answer is yes. Oh, Nightbird, Nightbird is nice. So Nightbird also is with the early bird uh, that I showed earlier. A lot of people like this. I happen to find this on Selfridges and I was like, oh, I'm getting this, I'm getting it. So, you know, you've got some sparkle here. Dior's shimmers also aren't always great. Um, you've got some nice sparkle in this one. Some of Dior's shimmers are more satiny. So it really just depends on the quint. And the other thing, like this one's satiny. The other thing with Dior is like, they really dupe themselves a whole lot when it comes to their quints. It's actually ridiculous. So that's just something to keep in mind. And these quints are like $65. I think if you're interested, that's just something to keep in mind. You can get Dior on sale at Macy's for 15% off, but I think the most I've seen is the 20% off at Sephora. The thing that sucks about Dior, and this is with all of their products, is that there are some things that are only sold on their site, which upsets me because I wanna get stuff on sale if I can. But like some of the lippies I'll show you, like my patchwork one, the one that I had to repurchase because I washed it, I had to get that from the Dior site. And I was like, damn, like, you know, because you can use your points at Ulta and you know, your points at Sephora, so. That made me mad. Okay, let's see what else we have here. Okay, this one, I'm missing one. But this one was the holiday one. I was so pleasantly surprised by this one. This one is 589 Galactic. And oh my God, this looks like nothing, y'all. I'm sorry, it does. It really does. It looks like what, who came up with this color story? I was so surprised when I did my look with this. Like the look came out so beautiful, like with this, uh, silvery lavender with this deep plum and then the 
satiny pink. I don't know, it just came out so great. I was really surprised. And I liked it better than the other one that they had, um, which was called, I can't remember. <laughs> But I like this one. It, it just doesn't look really appealing though. It, it just doesn't. I had Buy a Dare, which is a kind of like a little, oh here it is, 479. Probably I've only used this one time. This one's a really easy going quint. This is a look you can get from like maybe Natasha Denona Bronze. Probably a lot of palettes that we have in our collection. Pretty neutral. But again, I think the mattes are really nice. You know, they're really easy to blend, but you know, the, do we need to pay the price? And I think the answer is no. They're cute and fun, I think, to collect, but they're not really fun to spend money on. I mean, when I look at all this. Let's take a look at the velvets. Now, I do like these velvet ones. The formula is like maybe a bit creamier, I think. So we have 189. This is blue velvet. I don't think I can find this anywhere, but this, these are my kinds of blues. Kind of uh, gray blue and it's like navy. Like this one's really deep. I just felt like a beautiful fairy. And then you have this purpley shade here. I just thought it was really pretty. Like a purpley mauve. I really liked these blues a lot. Mm, yes, okay, that's 189. I have all of the velvets except for the nude one. This is 729 Rosa Mutabilis. And I will say, these are not on the Ulta site or the Sephora site. These were only on certain sites. And that's, that's the one thing that's annoying. And that's the rosy one. This one's gorgeous too. Like the rose is this here like really nice pigment. I think sometimes people think uh, luxury eyeshadows don't have pigment, but I think you have to pick and choose when it comes to Dior. Like that early bird one, that was all right, but that little mustardy shade was, was mm, ugly. I think on the Ulta site and on Sephora, you'll find like the denim one, Black Bow, Jungle, uh, uh, I think it's called Rouge Trafalgar. There's a pink one, Pink Corol. Like those, those were like the originals that you're gonna find on the uh, Sephora site and on the Ulta site. But some of these ones I'm showing you now, you're not, which is unfortunate. Ooh, this one is 629. This one is Coral Paisley. Okay, this looks like nothing in the camera. It really does. But this shade right here is so good. Like, this is coming up so dull here, but there is nothing like a nice, orange it looks real dull it's not i don't know what's going on but i love that one that one is very nice they blend out so well like i didn't i don't really get any patchiness or have to do a whole bunch of blend outs or harsh lines or anything like that it's just real easy and i really like that for the mattes but the shimmers really do leave a bit more to be desired again we do get some sparkly ones that you know might be similar to some of your indie like foils, but that's not all the time. Like you're gonna need to see them in person or see them swatch because they don't all have this sparkle. My black bow did, my black bow, you know I went to go <laughs> try to get black bow out of my little declutter box and I think my sister or somebody has it. I used to love me some black bow. I can't even show it to y'all cause it's gone. The last one I have is number 869 red tartan oh my god red tartan yes this one oh i love this one i love this one this one's great it reminds me of my chanel kendor at seduction quad this is good y'all but you have to like red eyeshadow for that all right i have one dior blush and that is from the holiday number 826 galactic red this one is beautiful i love a good red blush i think my favorite is at night by hourglass what i this is the same tone the thing about the hourglass at night that, that's one of my top 10. one of my top 10. the hourglass one has that ambient technology so it's just it's just beautiful it's just beautiful but this one is gorgeous too and i was very nervous about this one because it had like this glitter type overspray and i was very concerned that it was throughout the blush but it's not like i just love this tone right here very 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 beautiful 
uh, it's pigmented, but you can build it. It's a, it's a nice red, but I love at night by hourglass. That's, mm. Mm. We are reserving the rest of this for the lippies. I am going to go through them all. Oh, oh, I was about to say, I thought I was missing a case. Let me start with my ones that are in the cases because y'all know these cases, I told y'all Dior played me and I'm, I'm going to call them back tomorrow because I opened up a claim because I ordered the, um, was it red canage case? The new like brick red one was not in the box, nor was my receipt, but it, my account was charged. It surely was. Now I know this one's on Sephora y'all. I love this one. And this one, when I spilled my Natasha Denona hydrogen primer all over it, I washed this like, um, you know, in the sink or whatever it came out great and is this patchwork yes this is my favorite one um this is like my signature color i love this i love it i love it so much that i washed it i love that shade beautiful i got this case so it's like the cases are like 30 bucks and then you just order the refill not just order because it's not cheap but i'm obsessed with these this is i want to say plum eclipse this is from the holiday collection yes mm, yes honey these are so hydrating they smell good they smell fruity um when i had that reaction to the k skin i just kept wearing the, the dior stuff because i was like i don't care uh let me show you this case i love this one i think this is from the millifiori or millifiori release i can't remember how to pronounce it definitely we have some stains on this one though and let's see Ooh, mm, mm, mm. dior bar y'all dior bar beautiful i didn't even have to look at it i knew it from looking at it so those are three i don't even think i told y'all these are the dior attic shine lipsticks that go with the cases now i've got some more i've got more yes we've got fauve this is 531 little look at the shine y'all it's so shiny you can't even see the color little more i think orange maybe in this <sighs> beautiful a bandana i love bandana i'm repurchasing bandana uh during vib i washed that one as well you know what i did wash that did not go bad this shantakai uh lip chic i know that's not what this is about but i have used so much of this i love that thing but i got that off makari for 19.99 because i can't all right, let's see what else we've got. We've got mm, icon number 720. This is a beautiful iconic red, yes. And I'll show these at the end because it's so hard with the shine, okay? Ooh, pink, 628 pink bow, y'all. This one, I love this one. I love this one, I love pink bow. Ah. Oh. Look at pink bow, y'all. I think I have one more. This should be Dior tool. Yep. 727. I can't see the numbers on the ones because they're really small on the refill. But this is Dior tool. Oh my God. These are my. <laughs> I feel like I have more than this, but apparently I don't. So let me show you. So I'll try to list these in the description box in order if you like any of these. But like, they're all good. Every single one. Like, they're beautiful let me show y'all my first dior lipstick because they have the ones that look like the little dumbbells oh no oh here it is i'm about to be mad it's this one glittery rose yes and this was so pretty because look so it had the glittery snowflakes this is from 2020 the uh, golden snow and black nights release but the glitter does not show up on your lips this is in the matte formula and since then they've come out with a velvet which i believe is a little creamier but that's glittery rose beautiful Oops. now these are not iconic shades you know what i mean dior bar though this one i love that that one in patchwork though those are just me and bandana oh my god okay then i have ooh, taupe ishpahan not sure if i'm saying that right now this one came out this was holiday 2021 i didn't get those quints because they were just really bland but i didn't get this at holiday let me see so there's a engraving i guess of i want to say the dior like building I don't know if you can see it. It's a building in there, but but I don't care because I'm using it. Taupe Ishpahan. And I like to say Ishpahan. Look at that. That's such a nice color. Such a nice color. And then we have 
077 Midnight Corol. I don't think I haven't used this one yet because you know me and the, the dark lipsticks. I'm not a big uh, dark lipstick fan. Maybe I should not even swatch this. This is beautiful. Am I gonna use this? I'm not gonna swatch it, just in case. Cause I don't like to mess over things. I told y'all that, I don't. And then I have, ooh, Rouge Capuchin. This one's, have I not? Okay, I'm not swatching this one either. This is gorgeous, look at that. But see, what's up my alley is the taupe Ishpahan. That one, yes, that one. Which one was taupe Ishpahan? This one, yes. The glittery rose, these two are more up my alley. These other ones are kind of bold. So I need to think on those. Now let's talk about, this one is uh, refillable. This is new look and I wanted the houndstooth design. I just had to have the houndstooth design. And this one has a houndstooth print on the um, actual lipstick. So you can see that. So 100 new look is kind of a signature, I think shade for Dior because it comes in the attic. It comes, a lot of their uh, lipsticks actually come in the different formulations, which I like. So that's new look. It's like, I love it, I love it. These lipsticks have like almost a baby powder type smell. So you might not like that. So I wanted to share that. Okay, 634 is Rouge Orange. Now I feel like the oranges don't really stay right here. And I know my friend Aileen was saying that as well, but I wanna try to try this out again, try to get this working. But there's Rouge Orange and it's a really great shade, it is. I think everything else I have, I have a couple velvets, I have one satin, and then I have the Forever Transfer Proofs, which I did do a video on that. So the velvets I have in 200 and 300. So if you're wanting to try a Dior lipstick, I would start with 100, 200, and 300. So that's 100, and then I'll put 200 and 300 on the side. That was new look. And then new touch is 200. So it's just a little bit deeper, but I think that the, well, first of all, the velvets actually have that velvet type look, almost like the Lisa Eldridge ones. They feel really soft. So you have to be careful. I, I just think they're a little creamier, but they're still a matte. So that's 200 nude touch. And then 300, I believe is nude style. And I want to say they might have a 400 cause there's one called nude line, but I don't have that. So this is the nude style velvet. Mm, this one's nice too. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. So you got nude look, nude touch, and then nude style. And that's the velvet. The new look one I think is a matte. Let me just make sure. Lies, lies. This is new look is velvet too. So the only matte I actually have is this one. Hmm. Maybe that has something to do with why it's not like sitting right. But I don't have any complaints about the velvets at all. They're really nice. Might like them as much as my Lisa Eldridge. Ooh, 840 Rayonette, y'all. And again, you can find uh, these colors in the other formulas. Like I wanna say there's a Rayonette in the satin, there's a Rayonette in the um, shine ones. Look at that, that's nice, that's really nice. Have to find out somewhere to wear that. That's it. Oh, no, I have one more velvet, which is Icon 720. I have Icon in the in this formula. So I have it in two formulas. So I think it might be this one. I can't remember. Um, I can't remember. But let me just put it over here. Yeah, these are nice. Then I have a satin. It's the only one I have but I might have to get another one. This is St. Germain number 824. This one, y'all, is like the best. It is the best, best, best. It is the best. First of all, let me show you up close. I'm getting so excited. I love St. Germain. St. Germain reminds me of my friend Monica. Okay, look at Saint, Look at that color. It's almost like plummy. It looks so good on. I might like this more than the velvets. And then last but not least, and then we're gonna wrap up this video are the forever transfer proofs. And I have four of those a lot. It's almost bedtime. Cheese its No. Mm-mm. You can have an apple though. So we've got 210 
This is Forever Natural. Might have broke that one and that's all right. Cause guess what? Oh, it's still coming out. These don't move. I'm so sorry, they do not. They dry down and they do not move. I was really shocked because lots of brands make lots of claims, but these are true. If you're wearing a mask at work, you know, these are gonna be like great. But you know what else is great though? Those Maybelline vinyl uh, glosses. Those don't move either. This one is Forever Sensual, number 505. I think this is like a cool toned pink. I don't know if it's cool. It's hard for me to tell. But yeah, cool tone pink. And then, oops, two more. I know that these, I think are both only on the Dior site. Forever Wild 416. I love this one. This is like a ochre shade. And I'll zoom in. Oh my God, I might need to wear this tomorrow. And then lastly, to round up the video, y'all, we have a 518 Forever Confidence. Oh, this is beautiful too. And these have the same little powder smell. But I love it, cause it's like, oh, this is definitely uh, my Dior lipstick. You know what I mean? It's a little bit lighter than Forever Wild. I showed you all the addicts. So we have this one was the matte. These were all velvets, everything but the orange. And then St. Germain. Y'all, if you wanna put something on your list, yes. I will put the, um, the addicts. The ones that come in the nice cases, I probably would put them on, but I would want to get one. Yes, Margie and these snacks. I would want to get one of the forever ones because it's nice to have like a matte lipstick. And then, so these were the forever ones right here. And they have the forever ones in, like I said, most of the same shades. So that, my friends, is my Dior collection. I think I have everything. I do have in here, but I haven't tried it. It's the Dior Show Maximizer 3D Primer, but um, I've not tried that, so I really can't speak on that. But a couple things that I would like to try from Dior, I would like to try, as I was saying, the foundation, the rosy blush, even though I might not need it because I do have that baby doll type color from House Labs, and I have so much of that, but I kind of do want to try the rosy blush. I know that was kind of like a viral thing maybe, or or it was like, you know, really trending, but I'm, I'm curious about it, but it is tiny, right? I don't think I need that. I also hear great things about the bronzer. So many people talk about the Dior bronzer. So I would be curious, but I do think Pat McGrath is getting ready to release bronzers. And I do have my eye on a bronzer from House Labs. I, there's just a unique color that she has. It's the number five and it's medium with a rosy undertone. And I am really curious to try that out. I did not go for them at the past sales. So I'm like, I'm still thinking about it. So I don't know, the Dior bronzer might wait because I'm not actually wearing bronzer every day. So I don't wanna add too much. But let me know if you have any questions. Oh, the last thing that I, I have right here, I forgot about this. I have a Dior Show on stage liner. And the only reason why I bought this is because I thought that this shade was really unique. It's number four, five, six. And I'm not sure what the name of this liner is, but it's basically an olive. And I just thought it was a unique color that I did not have. And that's the color right there. However, I would not really recommend that. And that's why I only have one because I don't even use liner all the time on the top lashes, but I like this kind of grungy, olivey shade. I thought it was really cool. So that's why I tried that. But that's it for my collection. So let me know if you have any questions about anything. I do hope I described everything well. I have to say the lipsticks and the concealer. If you had to pick, those are my favorites. Mm, I'm so into it, which makes me think I'd be into the foundation, but I do have to wait. 
I am wearing the Huda Beauty foundation stick and I am working on finishing that because I love that thing. So that's it, you guys. Thank you so much for taking out some of your time and hanging out with me for another one. I hope this was therapy for you. It always is for me. And until I see you again, make sure you are being gentle with yourself. Talk to yourself nice, stay safe, and I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye. Go block your ears.